Hey Riddle here, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're a subscriber. I'm really excited to share something with you. It's going to be kind of a dualistic video. Uh, one is I want to show you how beautiful and easy it is to bring art into your life. The one thing that I, I think is so sad, especially for people who are creative, who consider themselves artists, is I go to their space, their apartment, their house, and they have no art anywhere. You know, and there's a big correlation, there's a big thing with, with both uh, prosperity mentality, wealth, wealth mentality, and uh, happiness, and surrounding yourself with beauty. This is one of the reasons that people have gardened for centuries, even people that don't collect art, because it's the same idea of surrounding ourselves with color and with beautiful things. And I just happen to be one of those people who's both an artist and somebody who needs to be uh, insulated, comforted with an exorbitant amount of beautiful things in my environment. Uh, I have the luxury, of course, of making my own art, but it would be pretty cheesy if I just filled my home with my own art, so I do support other artists. Uh, the one thing I have to also share with you is I have a book coming out, ding, 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 any day now, and no, it will not have this big line across it. This is a proof copy, so you have to have the book proofed before, of course, you put it up for sale in case there's anything wrong with it. So what I want to show you is, I, am, I did not cheat and use AIs. I did not use artificial intelligence to create any of the illustrations in this book. And I actually hand did all of the fonts myself too, kind of like a modern Victorian style. So you're getting a really quality product here. Another thing about this book that's really cool is, I paid the real wage. I paid the real wage and everything in this book was done in America. It was printed in America. I paid a graphic designer a good wage. I didn't take it overseas and tried to get it for nothing. So this entire book was done with quality, quality, quality. That being said, I also want to offer prints because some of the drawings in this book I think are pretty special. And so that being said, when I get the book up for sale and I have the prints available for sale, I will share with you how to find both the book and how to find the prints for sale to fill your life with beautiful things. But I'm also going to show you how easy it is to create your own art to share as gifts and to make your world more beautiful your office more beautiful. I mean, think of the places that you spend the most time. Look, look at the spaces right now and tell me, is it like a closet? Is it like a prison? Is it, or is it beautiful? I mean, the difference of hanging a beautiful painting or a beautiful print in your office every day and looking at that versus looking at a blank wall or a shitty calendar, it, it, it's a game changer, a huge game changer. And the same with your home. Okay, let me show you what we got going here. So, there are a lot of companies online that do canvas printing. They will also print on metal or acrylic. And I just, just learned how beautiful things are to print on metal because, uh, and to print on acrylic because usually I go for the canvas when I'm trying to do a high quality print. I'm not really into the papers printing so much online because that's a whole nother world. You have to really make sure you're getting quality paper and have a lot of control with that. But this company is out of Florida. And the crazy thing is the turnaround time they have. I ordered these prints literally maybe four days ago and they're already here. And this is a treatment that's printed on acrylic. And you can tell the beautiful packing job they did. You know, that makes a big difference when your baby's in the mail, or especially if you're doing a rush to get to a client or as a Christmas present. And I have to say, the canvas, 
So the poster is the cheapest. Canvas is the second least expensive. The acrylic isn't exactly inexpensive, but I love, love, love the, the treatment of it. So let's say you don't even consider yourself a serious artist, but you did a beautiful drawing of something or a beautiful painting of something. You can reproduce that with a high quality photograph. And the great thing is most of us can take a high quality photograph with our iPhones now because the pixelation is there. But you can also use a free program to put your photograph into to digitally enhance any of the flaws or anything you don't like about it and to sharpen it and what have you. Okay, first I want to show you. So this was a piece of glass that I had painted. Are you ready? This is going to be exciting. Let me get out of the way over here. This was a piece of glass I had painted, and sadly, it was huge. It was a giant door. I put it outside because they said that the glass, that the paint was waterproof and weatherproof, but it wasn't, and the entire thing got ruined. But look at how it printed on acrylic. And they're running a lot of sales right now. This particular company, I'm gonna give you the information for at the end of this video but they had a Black Monday sale and a Black Friday sale that uh, the prices were crazy. I mean, just unbelievable. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. So I'm gonna show you another example. This one here. And so when you get to a certain size and a certain pricing, and I'm not gonna give you prices because I got a real deal and I'm just, my spouse and I are really good at deals. But when you get to a certain size, meaning usually uh, 20 by 30 or larger, this is a 30 by 40, they include the hanger with the price. You ready for the big reveal? Oh man, this one I'm so excited about. Now the original, I originally did this drawing for a friend who loved mermaids. And luckily I was smart enough that I took a really good photograph of it. So she has the original pencil drawing and I have the right to recreate it. So this one is not in the book, but it will be in a future coloring book. And so this is in a drawing that's been inverted and then uh, printed on. Printed? Yeah, printed on acrylic. So got that one I'm going to set over here. Now it is important, this one, it's not as really pixelated as I would like. I'd like it to be a little stronger, a little cleaner than that. We did try to up the pixelations the best we could, but from here, from this distance, it looks really gorgeous. Yeah. Um, that being said, you have to be aware of the bigger you print something, the higher your pixelation, you want your pixelations to be. You want to make sure that you've got a high resolution pixelation or you're going to get a really crappy printout. Now we got two more in here. This is like Christmas for me. I'm, I get so high from beautiful things. I get so high from art. You know, it, it's, uh, it's sad because so many people are afraid to explore their creativity. And here's the thing. 
The first thing, don't forget yourself. The greatest art in the world is just, they were just people recording their lives. Look at Van Gogh. All of Van Gogh's work is just where he slept, the people who were around him. At the time when he was painting peasants and fields, people mocked him for that. They thought he was a complete idiot, and look at how he's revered today. So don't, you know, don't uh, always create things for validation. If I created things all the time, always with the idea of it had to sell, or other people had to like it, there's no way you can be an artist that way. And uh, you will make no contribution culturally to the world, and you can pretty much expect that work to go nowhere. And that's what makes me sad about, especially a lot of artists in America, they're forced to stay craftsmen. And what I mean by that is they're forced to always make decorative things and pretty things and stuff that will never really have much value because it has such um, unchallenging content. And we live in such a dynamic world now with things changing so quickly. The subject matters that we have to explore are endless and can still be beautiful. And it's really weird. I, I reach out to people I see who are talented artists all the time, just trying to give them a little advice to push them to the next level. And you would be shocked how often they won't even correspond with me. They won't even reply to the message that I send them on Instagram or wherever. And, and they're, they're encouraging words. I'm not being critical of their work, but you know, if you're gonna paint flowers and butterflies, no matter how exquisitely you do that, what about if you paint the flowers and butterflies that are going extinct or that have already gone extinct? Because then suddenly your work goes from this banal, just pretty work to something that's relevant to a historical document. And it's just little shifts in consciousness like that that can be a big game changer in the quality of your work and what you are what you are contributing culturally to the time that you're living in. Hopefully, this is going to be the next. Hopefully, this is going to be the owl that I showed you that's in the book. <clears throat> I hope you're as exciting as I am. You probably stopped watching the video by now. <laughs> I hope not. Hopefully it's just like that, that woman who opens up those stupid candied eggs for kids and people just sit their kids in front of that mine rock for hours so they don't have to educate them or spend any quality time with them. Well, I hope I'm at least half as interesting as she is. Okay, yes, we got some money. Are you ready for the reveal? Wow. So this is, this is from the book, and these are the prints, these are simple, this is the kind of stuff that will be available for sale, content from the book. Do you need me to hold this up so it's easier to see, or, yeah. Cool. Now we had to resize this a little bit because I formatted that drawing to do a cover page for the book, so I had to cover two exact pages, but I think we did a pretty good job. Isn't it beautiful? Mm -hmm. Very powerful. Powerful, right? And again, if you're serious about getting some quality work from an actual living being, and I just have to say, I'm going to include this because this was hand-drawn, and these people who are calling themselves artists and just using the AIs 
to create low content books, to create coloring books, to create art, and calling themselves artists. You're not an artist, you're an idiot. You're not an artist. Because I can put a band-aid and disinfect a cut, doesn't make me a doctor, you know? And, and you people who are cheating because you're too lazy to take the time to learn how to draw and to learn how to paint and take the chances to do things wrong, you're, you're threatening my job with those goddamn robots. You're threatening also human intelligence because, believe it or not people, making art is not just creativity. What other species on this planet do you know that makes art? If you go to Europe, they'll explain it to you real quick, especially in France, because it's a culture that really admires and supports artists the same way they support doctors and lawyers and anyone who takes a serious career. And what the first thing they'll explain to you it is that art is intelligence. Think about it that I can form an idea in my brain, a simple idea, and then take that, that, that firing of neurosynapses, bring it through my hands, and, and bring it into our three-dimensional reality. So are you gonna take my, the humanness of our world away further, even more so? Are you gonna help to destroy humanity more so by supporting people that cheat and are lazy and are using AIs to print coloring books and to print art for them because that's exactly what you're doing. So make sure you ask before you buy a piece of art because I guarantee you, unless it was one of the first AI produced art um, pieces, it's going to be worthless in the future. And if you want to surround yourself with you, soulless use um, worthless art, then go for it. But personally, I don't want a $10 print of Van Gogh from Walmart. I would much rather support a living artist so I know that humanity and human intelligence is still valued. The original of this painting because I really don't consider myself a painter. Painting is something I do from time to time. But the original of this painting was actually collected by a uh, government official in Paris, France. But I was smart enough that I got a really good slide of it, and I was, now I can replicate it. Did you take a monster? Well, it's multi-layered. I don't, I, I, one of the, I think Andy Warhol, the most genius thing about Andy Warhol is he let the press and the people who interviewed and the critics make up whatever his art was. So everyone sees something different in this and I guarantee you, you will have to look at this for months, maybe years before you find everything that's layered into it. But it's basically our modern world. It's our modern world and how you know humanity continues to procreate because that's what we are naturally designed you know to do out of survival but then all of the other things that we are you know create our reality right now in regards to everything from capitalism through holidays to all the other stresses and distractions and toxicities. But anyways, I think that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video. If you're interested in buying any art, uh, you can find my website at www.riddleriddle.com. It's a very lovely website. Or you can reach out to me. Uh, there's a lot of ways you can reach out to me. You can find the artist Scott Riddle on Facebook. You can find the artist Scott Riddle on Instagram. I will post all those links in the description page. And uh, yeah, and I also love taking commissions. And that's another crazy thing. Oh my gosh. The last year, because I finally have a little money, 
I uh, really wanted to support people who were calling themselves artists. And I reached out to five different artists, and uh, not one of them was willing to take the challenge I had for them, this simple commission. And uh, all of them were brilliant artists, or I wouldn't have reached out to them to begin with. And uh, yeah, I wasn't like, I was willing to pay whatever the price was. It wasn't that there was a dispute about, you know, reimbursement or, or what I was gonna pay them or anything. But the fact was, they're just so in their box. They were just very threatened with the idea of, of um, getting a little bit outside of their box. And so, you know, being a professional artist, uh, I'm very critical, I'm very critical of, of that. Of limit people, artists that limit themselves or artists that shy away from opportunities, business opportunities, or challenging opportunities because you know I've paid my dues, and to me, that is a that is a big no no if you're a professional artist. I mean, you should at least take the time to, to consider it. All right, thank you very much. If you like my quick money saving tips, rants, raves garden wisdom and occasional magic and lots of art. Please subscribe, it helps share and all that stuff. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other because I believe how we treat each other in the streets is our ultimate reality. Bye for now.